well here's the first panel it's roughed in like I said don't know if I showed this in the other video but all the whole all those cuts are refilled and uh, when you place this in this is the top of it top of it here it when it was underneath the tailgate you could look at the bottom of the tailgate and see past this you know and you look down and you know see the ground so what I'm going to do is as you can see I don't know if you can see that line right through here well what I'm going to do with my grinder I'm going to go over this line just gently kind of a couple of times maybe three just to the point where I can bend it and I'm going to bend it in. I'm going to have to trim these corners or pull this one in here a little bit and push this one out and have that overlay it and then weld that up and uh, same here but uh, but yeah and then with doing that that makes this sit up higher so I've got enough area down here that I can compensate for that. I mean, it's, uh, that's an inch and a half. So from there, basically, down just another inch and a half, or maybe a bit more. But I've got room, so that way I won't have too, too much here to cut off when it, uh, when it comes down to really getting down to nitty gritty. So, uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd... It's, I mean, I can't believe how thick this is. I, who knows, but uh, yeah, it came out good. You know, I put a square over it and everything's got a few little indents, which I'm just gonna, like you said, all, all I'm gonna do is just smear it with a coat of bondo and sand probably 90% of it off. But, uh, but yeah, so. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build all three and then I'm gonna fine tune them. Like I'll probably bend that, you know, finish this piece up here and then leave it then go build the other one because I gotta figure out the, the bracket like I said I'll probably do a bracket from have it come along here have it come up whatever I need I think maybe maybe three inches it'll come up three inches then come all the way along here and then back down into there you know and maybe maybe make these holes here uh, in the bracket a little uh, oblong so when I mount it to the uh, other piece I've got a little bit of adjustment in here I'm not too sure there's little details I'm gonna have to work out but yeah so uh, this is this this came up pretty decent like, like I said I can't believe how thick it is I mean it's supposed to be 20 gauge or 18 gauge but, and he said, yeah, it's just the same material that uh, fenders are made out of. Well, I don't quite think fenders are made out of this unless you're talking a semi or something. But yeah, so um, that's my little update. Uh, it's nice and quiet. I'm doing it inside my little truck here. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, like I said, with a bond, with a spirit coat of Bondo, dried, sanded, primed, and painted, it's really pretty cool when they're all done. They just bolt them into place. Well, good day, folks. It's uh, really overcast, really wet day here today. Here, I'll give you a quick weather report. As you can see, it's overcast. All the cement blocks are, have water on them and everything like that. But, like I said, work with what you got. So, anyhow, what I've done today, I just got here a little while ago. And uh, just doing some more on that one piece on the driver's side. So, here, I'll, uh, I'll show you what I'm doing. And then uh, we'll go from there. Okay. And I'll try and keep it all in frame. Okay. Since last time, I just finished uh, bending this flap down. It's a, it's a little, little bit wavy. Still got a little tapping to do and everything like that. But what that flap does is before when I put this in like this you can see behind there 
now you can't see behind that lip. And that little mark right there, that little black mark indicates the lowest part, lowest spot when the tailgate's opened. So now all I gotta do is, is trim this. All I'm gonna do is cut it like I did, like I did that, fold it into where I need to go, and then mark it. And then the rest I'll fold, I'll fold under, and uh, and that'll go, and that'll that'll go in to about oh probably about about where my fingers are. That's about from 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 here in about an inch and then uh yeah so um not a lot of progress i mean if i had a shop i'd probably end up sleeping it but yeah it's uh it's coming along okay i guess i just gotta get that get this here a little bit more level it starts going wonky right about here so um i'll do some more and then i'll bring you back Sorry it's not a more exciting video, but uh, hey, at least I'm getting lots of fresh air. Okay, okay, bring you back in a bit, bye. Just a quickie, there you can go, you can see that line. I've scored it, and uh, now I'm gonna try and bend it. So what I'm gonna do, as soon as I've bent it here, I mean, I don't really need to, but when I get all these little imperfections here welded up, I'm just gonna get uh, Donald to put a couple of tacks in where the bend is, just to, you know, strengthen it up. I mean, it's, good and thick as it is but anyhow yeah so I'm just gonna bend that line and I'll bring you back okay bye well here it is mostly all bent up this edge here worked out uh, really well I just scored it a bit like I did the other one this time I didn't go through in any spots and, uh, and it bent up now my only dilemma or these corners is what I'm probably going to end up doing because when you put it underneath here, all this here lines up with the inside of with the inside of here. So I might, because there's no lip here, it's just straight. What I might do is just for hell of it anyhow, just uh, cut this back a little bit, say to there. Take this little chunk out there and then fold that up. Yeah, I was thinking about cutting this whole piece off, but I don't know. I might just, I'll see what it looks like. I'll cut off right, roughly where my edge of my finger is and back to here and then fold that up and uh, see where it goes from there. Cause yeah, that's for this piece here. That's about that's about everything. And then I'll mock it into place with a couple pairs of vice grips. And uh, she about making up the the bracket that goes in there to hold it. Other than that, yeah. Yeah, so uh, I don't know how much more I'm going to do today. Don't get a lot done in a day, but I get something done. That's pretty good for, you know, all the bending I've been doing with just uh, this wood. And uh, this pair here of vice grips and another smaller pair. But yeah, just take my time. So yeah, so I think maybe that's what I'll try. Worst case scenario, I just cut that little end piece off right there. Slice it right off. So I'll do that, and then I'll, uh, I'll bring you back. I know this is really riveting stuff. But anyhow, okay. Thanks for watching these vids. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Well, there you go, folks. This is one, I would say, all done. The edge is here. Whoops, sorry. I just trimmed them down to just a little bit of lip, just so it kind of, where am I? Just so it kind of follows that edge. But I didn't want it too high. So yeah, it's got about a, I don't know. I don't know, where the hell am I? God, I quit doing that. About, I don't know, eighth of an inch, three sixteenth of an inch lip. But yeah, yeah. Get all, get all these all welded up. 
Oh, that came pretty tight. I like how that little corner one right there, the one in the very corner came. I had to fold that little lip up, little tiny piece there. And uh, and this side is this side too. Yeah, and it fits good. So the next thing I'll do, maybe tomorrow, I don't want to do any more right now. It's uh, 10 after three on the West Coast. I'll make the bracket up that uh, goes in here. Kind of like something like, probably about that long. You know, probably come out about, I don't know, that far. But yeah, that'll be my next thing for this side. Then I'll make up the other side. I'll make up the passenger side. Because this one here in the middle won't be too hard to do. Yeah, famous last words, eh? But yeah, I'm uh, really tickled pink how this came out. Especially, especially that bottom edge right there. And the nice lip, you can't see behind there anymore. So yeah. So uh I don't know, I've never redone really a lot of this. Don't bet, but not with metal this thick. Been an experience. But yeah, my little workbench, my little set of tools. You can do anything. Okay, well I'll stop flapping my lips and uh I'll let you guys get back to whatever you were doing before you started watching my vid. So yeah, so hope everyone's having a good day. It's uh, Saturday here on the West Coast. Don't know the date. I think it's the 6th or something like that of November. It's not too bad. It's heavy overcast. Put a weather report. And it's not too bad temperature-wise. So anyhow, everybody take care. Peace out, build on, and uh, just have a great day. Bye.